the weather authority and exact track 4d cutting edge technology giving you the most accurate forecast down to your street well what's no secret locally is the chance for some changes in our in our weather pattern here which have already whoa Look it's already happening pours coming through these are the same ones that we were just watching there as i was tracking those St. John's into County? mandarin yeah so we're down around mandarin uh, the um uh, with the um the Julian bridge Creek Julian's area Creek, yeah. Yeah. yeah as the downpours continue usually our sunset shot but right now it is our soaking shot and there's more to come so let's take you on over to the radar and i'll show you what we're watching as the outflow went through and i was we'll go to middleburg here even though it's not a thunderstorm i was just saying you know hey that outflow boundary is going through we still have the unsettled environment we had a couple of the straggler showers that were moving out of uh, bradford county here into clay and you can see there's that flow so it's running into anywhere from Lottie, Penny Farms, Middleburg. Here is we've got some of the downpours. Now our thunderstorm clusters, these have built back on the other side of the river where we were just saying that we were dry between Ortega, Venetian, and Argyle. They're the thunderstorms, the same idea. They started small and have continued to expand, and they are now reaching across the river. Uh, up to and along around Bowden. So more of State Road 13 here, San Jose, as you continue north, changes back into Hendricks, is where we still have the uh, downpours and the rumble of thunder. Then as you move south, let me move that back a little bit closer here through 13. So here's the 295 Beltway getting into Mandarin. And after you get through the uh, Julington Creek area, there's where those big downpours, big old fat raindrops coming through here from Holly Point to Mandarin, Loretto, Pine Bluff, even Greenland. Some notches in between in and around Sunbeam, we'll see some lighter rainfall coming through, and that's what's moving from the uh, Beauclair and Plumbers Cove area. And our thunderstorm complex that continues from around Pablo Keys and southward from JTB will bring yet more rainfall to northern St. Johns County, anywhere between Ponte Vedra, southward here into Palm Valley as those continue. And we can lift this and move it to the north as we've got the drier conditions here in our southern zones, with the exception of what we're seeing there around on Crescent Lake, southern Putnam County with some of these downpours that were closer to Ocala as we got into the top of the five o'clock. They continue also to make their way over toward the beaches. They'll reach through areas around Mound Grove, Orman, uh, northern Belusia County and southern Flagler County, southeast Georgia. We're not talking much about you here. You saw the thunderstorms earlier in the day and they have since already pushed through, giving up what is a quieter evening there north of the state line. But there's that cluster. You can see the outflow and there's the thunderstorm complexes that continue across parts of Duval and into St. John's County, as we just covered here. Uh, rainfall totals that we've seen so far will continue to add. So I'm going to skip those for right now, but we'll come back to some of those totals here in just a little while. The cooling of the outflow brought us into the 70s here along the immediate coastal zone, stretching all the way to the airport, even bringing temperatures down now at Orange Park and Green Coast Springs as we see some of those downpours as they continue to push through. But here's the view at the airport and downtown Jacksonville still currently dry. We're not seeing anything currently building in this area. We were showing 79. We'll take that one degree difference with that northeasterly wind. So things changing a little bit here from that southeasterly flow. And earlier, this was the same view where we were seeing some of those downpours. The cooling effect here taking you down to 75 degrees. But let's talk about the rainfall here. We'll go all the way through Mother's Day. And we're talking amounts across the inland areas, two, three, four, possibly as much as five inches, and then heavier amounts that will also be possible starting along I-95 and continuing out near the beaches. Here's where the models take us into Monday with more rain coming through Tuesday. We start to step those values down. I don't think it would be as widespread as being depicted, but could we see locally heavy amounts getting into the double digits? Back-to-back -back days of these kind of downpours? absolutely possible and we're not seeing a break from what will be the sea breeze interaction until we get to like i was saying tuesday we'll start to wind things down and into wednesday of next week so the sea breeze will be bringing us a lot of rainfall here over the next several days friday saturday through mother's day before we'll finally start to see that complex breaking down on monday weakening further on tuesday more sun and summertime temperatures next week mr nunn